there will be job losses. Most of them will be in America. Uh, there will be a few all over the world, but most of them will be in the United States where we have significant overlap uh, between BP and Amico. Obviously, the big oil companies have to, have to decline in size. They, they, they ca cannot possibly uh, replace the oil that they're using. Like all BP employees worldwide, those in Aberdeen were brought together to hear via satellite link where the swinging cuts were to come and to learn that BP's headquarters in Europe's oil capital will be the worst hit, with more than 600 jobs axed. The London office don't escape either. Their 1,000 strong workforce is to be almost halved. If oil was being found in ever more abundant quantities, well, instead of the industry contracting, it would be expanding. And in fact, over the last 10 years, we've seen the, the major oil companies merge. Exxon took Mobil, Chevron took Gulf and Texaco, BP took Amoco and Arco, uh, Total took uh, Elf and Fina. This was a friendly transaction. It was not one that was in hostile in any way and a negotiated transaction that reached the, the conclusion that we're announcing today. They're pulling out of the less profitable markets. This speaks of a contraction. And uh, I think that's the first sign. The, the implications are so serious and so severe and have such an effect on everyone that it explains why there's such a reluctance to actually come to terms with, with this situation. Expansion becomes impossible without abundant cheap energy. So I think that the debt of the world is going bad. That speaks of a financial crisis unseen probably, equaling the Great Depression of 1930. It's probably we face the second Great Depression. It would be a, a, a chain reaction. One bank would fail, another one would fail. Uh, industries would close. We already see it beginning. Look, look at uh, General Motors is just about bankrupt, believe it or not. Ford is going the same way. British motor industry has collapsed. Maar op een brutale manier is er dus in Frankrijk beslist door de algemene directie dat uh, Rip Hulleborde in op 31 juli 97 de deur zal sluiten. So the whole economic foundations of political thought and political action are undermined by peak oil. You see, most governments are built on the policy of economic growth, expansion, building market. You know, in times of recession, small little recessions, they kind of urge people to go out and spend as if it was a, a moral obligation to solve the little economic problem. Spend more, spend more. They reduce interest rates so people can borrow more. They like to pump it up. Still Snoop Dogg and D.I. D.I. Guess who's back? Still. Still doing that shit, Andre? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Check me out. It's still Dre Z. I? A.K. I? Though I've grown a lot, can't keep it home a lot. Cause when I frequent the spots that I'm known to rock, you hear the bass from the truck when I'm on the block. Ladies, they pay homage, but haters say Dre Kijk, dit is jouw auto. Dat is wat dat ik verkoop. Dat is jouw idee, jouw, ja, jouw ziel. Dat is, ja, dat is wat dat ik aan jou wil verkopen. God, what's happened? Yeah, there's no oil in it.
See, here we are on the, on, the, on the west coast of Ireland. And Ireland has a very important message to deliver because in the Middle Ages, the population was about four million people or so. And then arrived the potato. And the potato just thrived in Ireland. It was immensely successful. And it provided the food and energy uh, that supported the people. They had very nothing else. They almost lived entirely on potatoes. And then in 1850 came a disease and it killed the potato crop. And within a matter of four or five years, the population was half what it was and it has never recovered since. Half of them died, half emigrated to the New World. Well, this is a very, very important message because Ireland became absolutely dependent on a single energy crop, the potato. And its experience gives us a message for what will happen to the world as it becomes utterly dependent on a single energy crop, in other words, crude oil. There is no crisis, there is no impending doom. children and I think our children will certainly recognize that when they come to face how we in our generation took so much of this energy and left them so little. My huckleberry 